afternoon my friends and welcome back to another video here in India. Actually we're leaving the city of Jaisalmer right now guys. We're going to be taking a train all the way down to Jodhpur. My first time going to Jodhpur and so I'm really excited to take the train. We're taking like a 3 p.m. train and it's roughly like five or six hours to get there. So we'll get there like later into the evening and we're taking a second class cabin. So I'm not gonna tell you much about the second class cabin right now. We're cruising over right now. I'm here with Raul. Hello everyone, good afternoon. And we've got our, our good tuk-tuk driver right here that's gonna be taking us over to the uh, train station. So yeah guys, we are just a few minutes away. We'll show you the train station, we'll hop on board and we'll show you what it's like taking a second class air conditioned cabin. Chalo chale. <laughs> Guys, say one last bye to the fort. There it is. Goodbye, fort. Kese ho yar. Hige? You love what? That kind of car, camper. Oh, camper? This kind. Oh, we got a guy just going opposite, opposite of traffic, just cruising on the motorcycle. to the railway station much smaller than the one in Delhi all right then welcome to the train station officially here is the entrance let's unload <sighs> Danivad my friend uh, uh, Danivad my friend Shallo? Right, here we go guys we are entering into the train station very early. Very, very small. What up? Was there signs for the train this way? Hello, my friend. What type of ice creams do you have? This is it right here? Yes, Here you go. Chocolate. Oh, chocolate? Oh, what are the types you got in there, boss? Mango, Dolly. Mango. What about the. One of these guys. Raul, you want one? Yeah. Butterscotch, do you have vanilla? Vanilla? Chocolate. Ooh, chocolate, yeah. Yay, All right, one of these and... Raul, you want one too? I'm getting two, guys. Two desserts. You hold that, please, bro? Two. Yeah, one for you? Yeah. yeah. What okay. type do you want? Huh? What type do you want? Uh, chocolate and vanilla. Chocolate? Yeah. Corn. Corn? Yeah, yeah. And can you rupee buy some? Twenty and forty. Twenty one last thing. Yeah, one more. One more. This one more. Both for me. I'm fat. <laughs> Machan. Nevad Machan. No, 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 no. Uh, just for just con. Yes. No, no, no. Just these. Hundred. Oh my God. One hundred. Okay. Nevad by sir. Chalo chale. Chalo chale. Uh, that was for you, bro. Thank you. As we say in Arabic, Sakten. All right, so we're walking into the train station here now, guys. Looks like our train is already here. So we are walking. Do we know which uh, car we're going in, bro? Yes, I have. And when, do we need to? I guess the real question is do we need to stock up on any snacks right now? Might not be a bad idea, what do you think? No, I am full. If you want, you can take it. Types of uh, cold beverages we have over here, boss. Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola. I got Pepsi. Oh, let's see what else you got there. Coca-Cola, Pepsi. I'll take one Coca-Cola, please. <sighs> do you have a small bottle? No, it's small. Oh, that's the smallest, okay. And kidney rupee, bicep. Chalice rupee. All right, deal. Where are you from? I'm from uh, the U.S. U.S.A. Yeah. And I'm visiting the beautiful country of India. Oh, we got this right here. How much? Chinese. Okay. Can you vote? Anything else? Cookies, snacks, Liz. Uh, what do you think, Raul? Anything for you, bro? No, no, no. Liz? No. I'm okay. okay. I'm okay with my ice cream. All right. Yeah, I guess we'll already be uh, put on a couple of LPs. <laughs> 
वाटर जी वाटर ब्रो वन वाटर कहाँ से हो सर आप आई एम फ्रॉम हेयर इंडिया कहाँ से इंडिया श्रीगंगा नगर जयपुर के आस श्रीगंगा नगर हाँ जी गंगा नगर तो नॉर्थ राजस्थान में हाँ हाँ जी मेरा भी बुआ जी का लड़का है आप यूट्यूब बनाते हैं हाँ जी वो भी यूट्यूब बनाता है मॉन्टी यूट्यूबर अभी वो तुर्की में है इस्तानबुल में है भाई साहब बोलो छोटू नहीं है क्या नहीं है द डेजर्ट सफारी वाटर इट्स यू नो इट्स गोइंग बी अ गुड वन आइसक्रीम वाला ना 20 रुपए मंगा रहे धन्यवाद भाई साहब थैंक यू ऑल राइट सो गाइस चलो नाउ इट्स टाइम टू चालो अंडर द ट्रेन व्हिच वी आर थिंकिंग ब्रो गाइस लेट मी टेल यू दिस वन थिंग इज इट इज वेरी वार्म आउट हियर इट इज वेरी वेरी हॉट दिस आइसक्रीम आई गारंटी यू बाय द टाइम वी मेक इट इन द ट्रेन इट्स ऑलरेडी गोइंग टू बी मेल्टेड दैट्स ऑलराइट देन इट विल बी अ बिट मोर ऑफ अ मिल्क शेक देन या Looks like we'll be going back this way, guys. Say your last goodbyes to Jace Almer, right there. It's a long train. It seems like the AC is all the way up there at the front, so we'll have to we'll have earned that AC by the time we get up there doing laps around the uh, train track right now. Two thirty-four. We got twenty-six minutes till departure, my friends. There we are, guys. I think we're getting pretty close to the AC trains, based on the noises I'm hearing and the closed cabins. Now as you can see on the train the windows cannot be opened in this area. And over here you got a cow just hanging out on the train track. Move out of the way before you get ran over my friend. But I guess he's blocked by this train car. And we're almost up there. This is uh this is our spot, bro. Namaskar. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Dani Vad Bhai sahab. The last one, as we say, Charlie, Charlo, Charlie. It's gonna be a, a nice, tight AC fit. Oh yeah, my friends, we have been relieved of the hot weather. Uh, Charlo, Donivad. No, it's up top. It's further down. See, we got the uh, seat numbers up top. Keep going, bro. Keep going. They're listed up top, bro. Keep going. Hello. This one. This one. Pichu upar wala. It says uh, 23, 24 up yeah. there. Pichu upar wala. Hmm? No. Pichu upar wala. Pichu upar. No, this is this side. Right? This side upar wala. Upar wala. Bro. This one. Ha ha. The upar. Yeah, the the sign the it says the seat numbers right there, bro. You've been you've been going past it the whole time. Just trying to point it out. At the top of every single one, it says the seat numbers. Yes, man. Yeah, that's what I was telling you. Yeah. All right, guys. As you can see, we've got the uh, numbers labeled here: twenty-three, twenty-four. So that's a decent cabin here. Enough space here. The AC's going. That fan feels nice, though. So maybe we're gonna sit over here for a few minutes, enjoy someone else's seat. Oh, what if we get cooled down? Uh, let's see if this thing melts all over me. Mmm, that chocolate is good. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mm. Guys, that ice cream cools you down, but let me tell you this: you got seconds to eat it. All right, gets everywhere. Mm. Where's your ice cream, bro? You're not having it? Yeah. Things gonna be melting. Mm mm. The only problem is, I don't think there's garbage cans on this train. Mm mm mm. Got his head in the spot, guys. to the next few hours you got two options you can do the sleeper option or you can set this thing up oh it's a bit dirty there as you can see i guess people must only use this cabin for sleeping super easy you know there you go and now we've got this little nook right in here one thing that uh 
Uh, see, what they have over here on this side is they have a laptop stand. Over here there isn't really any sort of stand. So if you're planning on like working or something, I guess you gotta use your suitcase. We're limited on options, guys, but for plugs and things, a little disappointed on this side, guys. On the other side, you get the plugs, you get light switches, and plenty of space, but I guess maybe this side is maybe a lower class seat. Yeah, it must be. There's the one up top, there's no windows up here, there's no plugs. That's probably a light, that's a light. But that's all we've got over here, guys, so it's a bit of a disappointment. Hmm. Because basically, like, I would consider second class, like, a, you know, in between first and third class in terms of, like, obviously, as the name goes, but also in terms of the quality, like, you get, you know, you still have your AC, you don't have your own private cabin, but it's a, you know, comfortable space overall. AC is definitely not up as high as the first class cabin we took on our way from Delhi to Jaipur. If you saw that video, if you haven't, I'll put a link in the description below. That the AC was blasting. Could be because the train isn't running right now. So that might play a part in it, but yeah. I guess we're gonna figure out if we're gonna be able to work in here a little bit, guys. That was kind of the hope for the six hour train ride. But it depends, I guess, if we have neighbors that are gonna be sitting here. If we don't, then we might have some seats, so. I guess uh, we'll wait a few more minutes and then we'll be chaloing to Jodhpur. Guys, and the train is moving. Good news is we were able to sneak over, at least for a little while, plug into the charger, take this extra seat right here and get some juice in that laptop. Chale chalo, laptop, get that juice, suck it right in there. Uh-huh. Ooh, and wha-bam. Rajasthan, hello. So yeah guys, so far, this whole area has been mine. So my stuff is actually behind the curtain. There's not too many people in this train car, from what I understand. Like it doesn't seem like there's too much noise. A couple people hanging out around here. But other than that, that's about it. Guys, it seems like this is the stop where a lot of people are gonna be getting on. I guess we'll find out in just a second. How we doing up there, Raul? Oh, the man is catching up on Z's. Look, we got the squad catching up, running to get on the train here. Come on, my friends, don't miss it. Hop on, hurry. Wow. Yeah, guys, I feel like the train is about to be very packed. Wait for it. Oh, snack carts. Mmm. Okay, so as you can see here, we are I'm from Jaisalmer and Jodhpur is right down here. So we're just going probably another two hours or so, two hours, 15 minutes. We're just, I'd say maybe slightly further than halfway. And it's been a pretty smooth train ride overall, like a little bump in movement. But to be honest, if you guys saw my adventure from Jaipur over to uh, Jason there in the overnight bus. It was a nice overnight bus and it was good, but it was like very bumpy The horns were going off like all the time doo -doo 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 -doo. And you know sometimes the bus would be swerving in the middle of the night So like that's what you get like in terms of like difference between taking the train versus the bus uh, It's you know very smooth like you come to a slow stop You know maybe a few bumps here and there like I said, but that is like the worst experience where <laughs> Also on the bus, like there's just, uh, since you're so close to people, like some of the people that weren't sleeping, they were talking really loud, like this loud. And I was like, it's like 3.30 in the morning. I was like, hello, hello. And like some people were arguing, kids were screaming. And so probably I'm sure that happens on the train sometimes too. But since you have a little bit more space and obviously there's not too many people here, um, at the moment you're not gonna run into that either. But like, yeah, the sound gets dampened a little bit when you have more space to spread out. Yeah, another good experience on the train though. I love taking trains. It's always a good time. Not really too much else to show you guys here. Uh, like these are what the upstairs beds look like. I kind of showed you that already, but I guess I didn't. I only showed you on this side where Raul's sleeping. Um, they have like handbars to hold on to and then a ladder to climb up the side. 
So make sure when you're booking your ticket, you look up to see, you know, are you going to be upper or lower? That's what it says on the uh, on the tickets there. So that way you can know in advance. For me personally, obviously the uh, upper, you don't have like this space. Like down here we got the leg room. We can, uh, you know, I think I think this whole thing might even convert into a bed. I'm not sure. Let's check. No, maybe not. Can't tell. I was checking under there, guys, but I think uh, I think these fold down. But I'm not entirely certain. Then what's the purpose if they fold down? Maybe to make it a bigger bed. Yeah, I think it's a bed on the other side because this one's only about this wide. But if you lay this thing down, you got a larger size bed. And I guess probably if you lay both of them down, then maybe it makes this whole thing into a bed. I would say I'd try it out, guys, but got to do a little grinding right now, so don't want to get in that sleeping mode. So, and then scenery out here, guys. Not too much uh, that I haven't shown you on the other train ride. A lot of desert lands out here in Rajasthan. Uh, you see a lot of local villages. Definitely the more rural side of Rajasthan is where we're at right now. And then the last thing maybe I'll mention for you guys is actually the AC has gotten so much better. Probably also because the sun has gone down, but I guess the trick is you close these during the day when we first got on the train because we had them open. And if you have those closed, then obviously it's gonna keep even more of the heat out. Because since it's so hot outside in Rajasthan during the summertime, there is just that much more work that the air conditioners have to do in order to uh, cool this thing down. So as soon as we close those like blinds on the windows when it was still midday, then like this place cooled down. Like now to like this point where I'm wearing my sweater and I'm probably at perfect temperature. I could even wear another jacket and I'd be nice right now. So it's good AC for sure. And I want to say I paid 800 rupees, yeah, maybe like 10 US dollars for the second class ticket to go six hours. So very affordable price, especially when you compare that to a plane ticket, you'll pay between 45 to $75 uh, to fly from city to city. Okay, say ho, sir. Good evening, sire. Uh, the sleepaholic. Yeah. Call you Harry Jaggard now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sir, sleep a lot. No, that's good, you gotta get that rest, bro. Yeah. Raul now finally knows what it means to actually be a, uh, a travel blogger on yeah. the road. <laughs> everyone everyone thinks that you know, you're know you just chilling vacationing uh, all the time. No, we're grinding hard. No, it's a, it's a work also. Yeah, it's a lot of work. It's yeah. a lot of work. Lot of yeah, yeah. It takes a lot of energy, guys. You'd be surprised. Love every second of it, but doesn't mean it's easy. So I always like to add that in because I think sometimes people think I, I meet people all the time on the streets and they're like, is this getting uploaded like uh, right after we meet you? And I'm like, uh, my friend we still got to edit this thing and then, uh, you know, it needs to be sent to one of my editors, then it needs to be edited, reviewed, thumbnail, description, uh, tags, all these things, and then scheduled to post. So, yeah, guys, but love every second of it and I just want to, and while we're on that topic, I just want to thank you all so much for always supporting the channel and... Uh, following liking and subscribing notifications on all that and your continuous comments and support to my channel means the world to me and I'm eternally grateful for you and so with that I promise to keep bringing you so much more content now let's chalo on to Jodhpur all right we're gonna take you guys this way to see what the uh, the bathrooms look like so wow yeah the train is pretty empty most of these cabins are either dark or maybe have one person in them so it makes sense why we were able to that scared me guys. Look at how fast that train is going by. Wow. Holy moly. That's why you gotta be careful. Anyways, one of these is a bathroom. Go to the left. I'm gonna say this is the one. Oh, okay. So here's what the bathroom looks like. It's definitely uh it's got a lock on it. Let's check that out. Alright. Definitely needs a cleaning, as you can tell there. Looks like it hasn't got any uh, Windex in a while. It smells like uh, urine in here, which makes sense. But other than that, I mean, it's not the dirtiest bathroom I've ever been in. The other train I was in was a bit cleaner. I mean, it's, it's good enough to have a, a bathroom. But yeah, they could use a nice little uh, deep cleaning. Let's put it that way, my friends. Anyways. Head back and it looks like when storage or probably when the train's pretty busy they have extra storage here they must lock it there's like three levels of storage so it's pretty nice 
Hello. Namaskar. All right. What do we got going on over here? I don't think we can open the door for you guys to show you outside the window. Probably too dangerous, but uh, oh yeah, you probably could right there. Just give you a quick little glimpse outside. As always, guys, do not do what I'm doing. Oh. Hello, India. It's been a while. Oh, we got animals out there. Full speed ahead, my friends. Chalo. Chalo. Oh, there we go. We got some traffic. Namaskar. <laughs> Got a couple smiles out of the bikers, guys. So that's pretty good. Well, so we are uh, cruising now, guys. We just missed the sunset. I should have taken you out a little bit ago. But I didn't know if I could open these doors up. Yeah, guys, I just want to say one more thing. Yeah, when you're hanging out of a train, there's obviously a huge risk. There's objects going by. There's fast trains. I do not recommend it. It's very dangerous. People die from doing this type of stuff. So, uh, so yeah, I'm doing this at my own risk. No, it sounds like we're really picking up speed here. Chalo! Oh, we've got the locals cabin, uh, we've got the third class cabin right there, guys. As you can see, people's arms are hanging outside of the train. That guy just spit off the train. Beep, beep. And we have over there some locals working out there in the field. Really such a uh, beautiful time of the day. And guys, I don't even update you. Wow, already now, three hours later, the weather's cooled down so much where it's actually like a really nice temperature. All right, now we're really picking up speed. I'm gonna go inside before uh, before things get too sketchy, my friends. Close this bad boy up. All right, toss that thing closed. We're back in business. There we go. Just in time. You can feel things shaking around a bit. Hello. Donny Avad. Donny Avad. Oh, and we're back. Guys, we have arrived to our final destination here, which is Jodhpur. And we are unloading from the train right now. Namaskar! So we got a little traffic jam. Danivad Bicep. It smells like someone's got some cologne on. Strong cologne. Oh, there it is. I think they're spraying it right there. I smell you, my gay. You're smelling like the mall we visited the other day. Where there's like 20 perfumes everywhere. All right, we're trying to get off this thing. Let's see if it's possible. Hello. Oh, yeah, thank you. All right, we have arrived. Oh. Hello, Jodhpur, it's been a while. Hello, bro? All right. This is it, we are here, Jodhpur. I must say, it's a much better temperature over here. Can I say ho, Jodhpur? I think Jab Port just replied everything's T gate, bro. <laughs> now it's a busy train station. Actually, uh, looks just like the one in Delhi. And very large, too. Much, much larger than Jason Mayer's train station that we just arrived from. Got fresh snacks waiting for you. For anyone hungry for a little chow right when you get off the train there. Oh, we got our buddy coming through. I need a chicken thigh, Saya. <laughs> we gotta get Raul screaming that. No, 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 I'm vegetarian, bro. No? I'm vegetarian. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he can't yell, I need a chicken thigh, he's vegetarian. I need a paneer thigh. Yeah, yeah. He needs a paneer thigh. <laughs> Alright, looks like we got ourselves a uh, escalator. We're gonna be going down. You ready for this, bro? You worried? Uh, oh, and he made it on. Success. Hello, my friend. Namaskar. Here we go. Oh, we got the squad here. So we're entering here the spot. And uh, hello, hello. Oh, we got friends now. Immediately, we got some new friends here. So guys, we're cruising over this way, entering into the beautiful city of Jodhpur. I really like the uh, architecture they have. They've got a train. Great right over here and it's kind of like lit up in red and green lights right over there so that's a beautiful design to the front this is the train station lit up job for you can see at the top right at night and the nice part is they even have an electronic sign up top there 
that says which trains are coming when. So we lost Raul there. Uh, I, we remember the rule is we don't take any rickshaws that find us in the train station. So no thank you my friend. Don't even buy some. Uh, no thank you. Don't even buy some. So guys, we're cruising through this way and we are going to get ourselves a uh, ride here. We got a, got a squad following us, but my uh, rule is to always just find someone either on the street or take an Uber in places because usually the people that find you, there's uh, going to be an extra price for it because they got out of their tuk-tuk. So that's why we're going this way. Oh, we got the, uh, the Machans are following us, huh? Yeah. Well, let's see. Let's see how long they go for a ride for with us. As you guys can see, they're uh, they're still trailing us. We'll we'll keep going to the uh, store. All right. The guys, the guys still still trying to flag us down. All right. So here we go. Hello, bro. Hello. Oh, all right. Here we go. So what do we think, bro? Some fresh lemonade. Yeah, maybe. I'm just seeing how long this guy actually trails us for, and then we'll flag a rickshaw. Oh. Here we go. Welcome to Jaipur, my friends. Or Jaipur. All right. Now we can flag a guy. Namaskar. Around. Okay. Rupee? 100 rupees. Okay. Okay. Hello? Alright guys, we have just made it in the Tuk Tuk and now we're going to be going full speed ahead about 8 minutes away to get to our hotel. Yeah, as you can see, a lot of shops are open at this evening. At this time of the night. Guys, it feels great to be in another city here in Rajasthan. And let me tell you this, this place is popping off at night. There's so much going on. All right, I'm digging this horn we got going on on the Tuk Tuk. I'm seeing we've got horses cruising through the town right there. Hello, nay, nay. Oh, more of them. Welcome to Jadpur, my friends. Namaskar! Oh yeah, we got a lot of traffic. Hello, Jodhpur! How are things? Bohotacha! Good boy, good boy. Good boy. Oh. We're looking for the villas. Is this it? Yeah. Oh. Let's go. Over here, can you hold the oh, 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 oh. Come on. Donny Vod. Alright. I've got everything. Donny Vod bicep, no change. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so much. Alright, we have arrived. Namaskar. Namaskar. Kese ho. Bahota cha. Alright, we've arrived to the place here. Do we uh, have a reservation, please? Uh, it's under Mac. How many people? About two people. Right. So, give me a passport. We were going up to our rooms here. We've got two rooms for two nights for 3,200 rupees, so that comes up to, I want to say, like, one of them. Alright. There we go, this is the room here guys. Oh, it looks pretty nice. We got the AC going, so we'll have to start that, fire that thing up. All right guys, we have just gotten connected to the Wi-Fi. Let's run that test here. See what we got going on. All right. We got about six, seven, eight. Do we have nine? Do we have 10? 10 megabits per second? All right, let's download, not upload the real question. Oh. Little teaser there, it jumped all the way up to like 20. And now it's back down to six, three, four. Oh, you're a little all over the place here, aren't you? Seven, oh, we're sneaking back up there, no? 
9.37. I'd say that, yeah, it's quite good at overall. And for us to have two nights, two rooms, the total amount was just about 50 US dollars, $47. So if you look at that, I want to say that's about $12 per room per night. So a very affordable price. And let's see. Oh, beds are a little firm, but uh, I think they say if the beds are firm, it's good for the back. Ah, that's that. We got fresh towels. We got the AC now roaring. And over here, we've also got the bathroom. So that's pretty much it guys. A quicker tour of this hotel because I just wanted to show you at the end of this video where we're gonna be staying the next two nights here in Jodhpur. So really hope you've uh, enjoyed this video guys on the train ride up. It was a little more low key of a train ride because there just really wasn't anyone on the train. We couldn't like interact with that many locals. We didn't make it over to the locals cabin. I don't know if you can actually walk from one to the other, but maybe in a future train video, we will hop on one. So yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching all the way through here and uh, smash that like button. And if you want to see more videos, both here in India and all around the world, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video.